Who cool, that's today? I'll be talking about 15 underrated Megadeth songs. Now, this is in no specific order or anything, and these are just 15 random songs that I picked. These are not what I think are the 15 most underrated. They're just, again, songs that I randomly picked. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into these songs. Now, first song I want to talk about is Looking Down the Cross. This song is just, I don't know, the way it transitions to getting more heavy from the more dark moody part that's more in the first half of the song i just find the song to be really underrated and it's always been one of my personal favorites off of killing is my business but next we have the song a thousand times goodbye and this is another one of my favorites from world needs a hero the thing with this song is that i just really like the main riff sure it's not super complicated or anything but i don't know it's just one of those riffs that just really I guess grips you if you know what I mean but yeah definitely one of my personal favorites from the album but next we have the song Devil's Island now I thought about The Conjuring or Good Morning Black Friday but I've kind of noticed that those songs are kind of fan favorites so I decided not to choose those so I decided to go with Devil's Island but yeah I really like this song and the chorus to me is really catchy but next we have Mary Jane, and this song is kind of like In My Darkest Hour, but maybe you could say it's In My Darkest Hour's uh, little brother or little sister or whatever, but I don't know, I really like the way it starts too, and I don't know, it's just a song that to me not enough people talk about. Maybe not the most technical song out there, but I don't know, I still really like it personally. But next we have the song Five Magics, which is honestly maybe one of my favorite mega songs. I don't know. The technical aspect of it, the riffs from Marty and Dave, I don't know. Something about this song just really just hits me. But I don't know, I really love this song. But next we have the song This Was My Life, and... I don't know, I just like the rhythm work in this song. It's just one, The rhythm work in this song just really grabs your ear and I just really like the chorus too. Sure, sure, maybe not the most complicated chorus in the world, but I do like it. But the next we have Elysian Fields and locally things sound, Dave sounds pretty good in this song and I think it's kind of an underrated highlight on the Euthanasia album, in my opinion. But next we have the song The Emperor. Now, maybe not one of my personal favorites on the album, but I do think it's kind of underrated. I think it's one of the catchiest, maybe one of the catchiest songs on the album, at least in the second half of the album. But yeah, it's a song that I've noticed doesn't get much attention from fans, and I don't know, I kind of dig it. But next we have the song 44 Minutes, which is maybe one of my favorites off of Endgame. It's just fun, fast, kind of thrashy, catchy, and I just really dig that song. But next we have the song We The People from 13 and now I think this was one of the more, the rewritten or redone songs for the album on 13 because I know that song or that album has some redone songs while also some newer songs too but I think this was one of the redone songs I could be wrong or remastered or whatever but either way it's always been one of my personal favorites off of 13, and I also really like the chorus and just the overall heaviness of the song. The next we have the song Take No Prisoners, and I love the backing vocals in this song, and this song just, I don't know, when you're in the mood for something really heavy or just energetic or just mean in general, this is a good song to listen to. I just really dig this song. The next we have the song Bad Omen, and... The thing with this song, I just really dig the guitar work. It just, you just really invested in the song, really invested in what you're hearing from the guitar, from Dave, and I just, I don't know. Kind of an underrated song. But next up, the song Washington is Next, which is one of my personal favorites off of United Abominations. Then we have Cyclotron, which I think is kind of a, kind of a fun song to listen to. and. One of the more interesting songs on the second half of the album, in my opinion. And then, finally, the last song I want to talk about is the instrumental, Into the Lungs of Hell. This song is just thrashy, energetic, and yeah, definitely a great opener for So Far So Good, So What. 
But anyways, those are my 15 songs that I've chosen. Let me know if you can think of more. There are definitely a lot more out there, but feel free to let me know if there's any more songs that immediately come to mind for you and all that good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like. Subscribe. Have a nice day and take care.